What up, y'all? It's your man Wayne Train back with another joint. And uh, I didn't think I'd be making this video, but I got to tell y'all, man. I probably would not buy the T-Mobile OnePlus 7 Pro. And here's why. All right, y'all, so what up? Do your boy a favor, though, before we get started. Like, share, subscribe, help your boy build the channel. We building it up together. Let's get it going, let's get it popping. But like I said in the beginning, I didn't think I'd be making this video. I, don't, I wouldn't, I probably would steer away from the T-Mobile OnePlus 7 Pro. Operative word, T-Mobile. Now, would I suggest the OnePlus 7 Pro in general? Absolutely. I ain't even fronting. I'm not capping. I ain't BSing. I'm not leading you astray. I promise you, I would definitely suggest this phone outright unlocked from OnePlus. And going forward, I probably, I actually would suggest you do that with any phone, not just OnePlus, but just in general. Um, carrier phones are great for, you know, financial purposes in terms of being able to finance them easily. And, you know, you're going to be able to make sure that it works exactly for your network. And a lot of times there's a lot of upgrade options and incentives for the buyer to be able to get things quicker. So, you know, there's some pluses to getting it, which is why I did get mine from T-Mobile. You know, I ain't got five, what is it, was seven, 700 bucks outright just yet to spend on the phone. I went through T-Mobile, they allow you to finance it, and you know, it's a good option for a lot of people. But if I'm being real, my number one reason for not, for me telling you guys to not buy with T-Mobile is the updates. And that's the one thing that I'm really that really drives me and makes me really love OnePlus is the update. So when you take that away from OnePlus, it kind of defeats every purpose of OnePlus. T-Mobile is seriously, seriously hindering the OnePlus in that department. And that's their biggest draw for me is the updates. If you're not getting constant updates from OnePlus, it's. In all honesty, it's just it's a phone. It's just like any other phone. And when when you get it, you know you're stuck with the the, the one update, maybe a security update here and there from T-Mobile, and that's it. And that sucks because OnePlus, the community, and everything that they're doing is it's always timely about updates. And I, I was really like mad about that because I got my T-Mobile version. I'm seeing all these camera fixes and camera um, updates coming to the OnePlus 7 Pro and mine ain't getting it. And it sucks because I am I got a OnePlus 7 Pro too. I'm on T-Mobile, but I mean, I should be getting it just as timely as the people who bought it unlocked. And like I said, I had the same problems with like even Samsung, even Samsung, as much as they really don't do a lot of software updates with their phones, they do they do more if you have the unlocked version rather than uh, the T-Mobile or any carrier version. It's just more timely. And they're already, they're already on their, I want to say, second camera fix update. They're working on one that hasn't, I don't believe, officially been released by OnePlus, but it's out there in the wild if you want to go out and cop it, which I actually did, and I'm going to show you how um, real quick. But, like, that's, man, I thought I lost my train of thought. But anyway, just the, the, the updates, man. They got to be timely, man. And like I said, they're on the second camera fix update. And meanwhile, T-Mobile hasn't even put the first one in yet. Maybe they're trying to wait until it's 100%, you know, right before they put the update. But I don't. that's not the way you do it. You follow the lead of the, the, the manufacturer. They put out one small update. T-Mobile, you got to be on it. Put that same small update out for, the, for your, for your um, 
for your uh, for the carrier for for everybody who's on T-Mobile. So that's why I would not suggest buying it from T-Mobile for that reason. It's and in even in some and I'm and this might be just because I did a, a factory reset and everything, but for whatever reason, it just feels like a lot of things are working smoother. I get things like integrated vo uh, visual voicemail. I, I wasn't getting that with the T-Mobile firmware. This is still my T-Mobile OnePlus. There's a firmware, international firmware that's available for you to download for even T-Mobile uh, OnePlus 7 Pros. It doesn't do a SIM unlock. It's not, there's no root required. There's no any of that required. So that's what I'm going to show. I'm not going to show exactly, but I'll point you on the right direction. But let me go here. One plus seven pro seven pro international. Oops. Here we go. Get the news. So it's on XDA. I'll post the link. They give you some detailed instructions on what you got to do. You can follow these instructions in the link. But basically, what's going to happen is you download some stuff on your computer. You got to have a or have a computer at the crib to be able to do this. You're going to download a couple tools. It's really not hard at all. I know it's scary. A lot of people are afraid of doing any of these kind of things with their phone, avoiding warranties and whatnot. Oh well. If I void my warranty, whatever, so be it. I void my warranty 100%, 100 times over to get timely updates. Like, this isn't fair to customers. You're robbing them in a sense of a lot of things. You get bad camera quality, which I wasn't really going to do a video on just yet because I'm, I, have a, I have real, like, great faith in OnePlus in that department. Which is a little, why I was a little bit dis, a little bit disappointed in a lot of the reviews and the reviewers that I've seen making these videos about returning their OnePlus. I'm not gonna, I don't suggest it. Granted, like I get it at the time of purchase, it should be a little bit better, a lot of bit better in that sense for the camera. And I I can't knock somebody else's opinion, but I think that. With, like I said, if you're when you're investing in OnePlus, you're investing in what they do as a whole. The community of OnePlus, like trust me, it's it's legit. These people, you know, if you're in when you join a community, you post a lot of the problems and issues that you're having with your phone, and a lot of times they find the best way to get that update out as soon as possible. People are having issues with phantom touches, and that was a limited amount of people. It wasn't a ton of people. They got a fix coming for that. The camera, an abundance of people have problems with that. They got a fix for that. I'm going to post some pictures in another video about the camera quality and what I've been getting late, like right now. I don't have any photos of like the old one, but I can attest to a lot of the, the hearsay. Nightscape was a trash, was really trash quality. Um, a lot of a lot of photos when you take them in the zoom, when you zoom in, it looks really weird. It's just not great, low light quality, you know, but passable. It's still a good camera, but, you know, obviously not to the likes of like iPhone and definitely not the Pixel. But after this update, it puts this phone right in the mix, in my opinion. And I'm not overstating that. And I'll show you guys what I'm getting later on. But so, yeah, uh, I'm going to post a link to this. I would definitely suggest to anybody who has a T-Mobile One Plus 7 Pro to go ahead and do this. You're going to get yourself the international version installed on your phone. I'll go ahead and show you. And you're going to, this gets you timely updates. It gets you the ability to be able to, you know, install, uh, install updates right off the phone. Like if, like that's what I did with this one. This one hasn't officially been out for One Plus, but it's in the, it's on the forum and people are testing it. I'm at 9.5 or 9.5.7 for the build version here. And yeah, this has got all of the latest fixes. It's got all of the 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 what is it? I was having there was having I was having some problems with the, the double tapped awake. All that's good. Phantom touches. I had a few issues with that, but that's all good. But that's what you get, man. When you with an unlocked phone, you get 
timely updates and that's important especially to me and i feel like for customers that's you're robbing them in that sense software is very 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 important and if you're not t-mobile if you're not doing that you, you one plus ain't the ain't the phone that you guys should be back and if you can't keep up with one plus and what they do with the updates so like i said they got to figure out something what they're going to be doing as far as that so anyway man just had to let that be known t-mobile version you know if you for the people who got the t-mobile version uh i would definitely suggest doing what i just did you're you're gonna be you're safe i mean i may have voided my warranty doing this you know for the people who don't really care about those things go ahead i would definitely suggest it it's worth it and t-mobile by all from my my opinion i think this should be a favor like you should be doing this for all your customers like you're gonna avoid customers warranties because they're trying to get the most out of the phone that's not fair and you're robbing people by not giving them the most from the start so that's where i'm at but anyway man hit your boy up in the comments man let me know what y'all think about everything that's going on with the one plus how you like it if it's if you was i mean your experiences. I want to know. We can we can have this conversation. But anyway, man, she man, I'm out.